ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 23rd day of September. James Spann here. Things are looking good for Alabama in the short term. Maybe a new tropical storm brewing. Let's... Take a look at what's happening this morning. We'll begin with some sky cam shops captured yesterday as the sun was going down on that first day of fall. That's the Demopolis sky cam. We're looking from the top of the Demopolis Civic Center right over the water of the Tom Bigby River. There's the uh, sunset from Coleman. Not a cloud in the sky there. East Alabama, boy, I'd love to be up there at that place. Uh, that's the uh, view from the restaurant there at Chihaw State Park. Again, a cloudless sky and Way down south at Gulf Shores, that's the sun going over the Little Lagoon uh, this time of the year. That's the view coming from the Phoenix All Suites. And the days keep on getting shorter, nights keep on getting longer. Uh, there's a water vapor satellite shot this morning, and uh, we've got uh, clear weather. Temperatures are awfully comfortable. Nice short wave up north that will stay north of us. And, of course, uh, uh, mischief just off the Atlantic coast. We're kind of in between all of that. There's a look at temperatures, and hey, look up there in northern Maine. I see some upper 20s, those blue colors up there. Uh, 50s down into parts of uh, Tennessee and extreme northeast Alabama. You've got a little warmer tongue there through the middle of the nation. See some 70s over Minnesota, but again, you get back in the northwest, and it's cold out there, 30s and 40s over the uh, uh, Intermountain West. And you know, by golly, we might get a pretty good shot of cool air in about a week, as you'll see. Uh, the QPF chart suggesting nothing, not a drop through Saturday evening. All of the action over on the Atlantic seaboard and up north, and that's probably correct. Tropical weather, boy, that thing looks good, doesn't it? That looks like we got a new tropical depression firing there just south of Hispaniola that ultimately should become a tropical storm Kyle very soon. If it's not already, it looks very organized. Of course, it's interacting with that big island. Uh, modeling not changing a lot on Kyle. It's uh, moving north. It's forced to move north. It's not going to be a Gulf storm. And you can see that a number of the models, including the GFS and the GFDL, push it into New England. How about that? Let's take a look at the GFDL. And it's been very, very persistent in pushing a pretty significant little hurricane there right up into Long Island. And, of course, we're talking major impact there for New York City. And uh, Providence, uh, Bridgeport, places like that. Uh, and uh, you can see the uh, maximum wind at 950 millibars at 99 or really 100 knots. And that's up there in Category 2 range. Uh, that's, a, that's a very fascinating story, and that would be uh, late this week, around Friday. So we'll see if that works out. Uh, let's take a look at the GFS on this. Uh, this is where we are at uh, 1 o'clock today. Again, there's the short wave up north. And around here, things are nice and quiet, dry weather, sunny with uh, low to mid-80s today. The humidity will stay low. And you can see our developing tropical storm in the lower right. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we stay dry with uh, cooler air draining in from the east. Uh, we'll see progressively cooler nights. We'll be down there in the mid-50s tomorrow morning. And uh, Thursday, uh, we might even see some low 50s. And just maybe upper 40s for the cooler valleys for the first time. Wouldn't that be nice? And again, you've got two things working. You've got that strong easterly onshore flow that's coming into the middle Atlantic coast, producing windy and uh, uh, wet weather, not directly related with uh, Kyle. And Kyle is moving north. And then we go on to uh, Friday, the end of the week, and you can see an upper level low that's kind of uh, doing a little bit of retrogression. It's backing up, coming in this way from the east, but there's just not much moisture with that. Down below, the moisture is as far west as uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and uh, that's about it. So we'll just call it partly sunny on Friday. And again, you can see Kyle pinwheeling up to the north. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, that thing goes in to New England. And where that strikes, if it does strike, is uh, will kind of define where the biggest surge will be. But certainly that's going to be a big problem for Cape Cod and really all of the New England coast, if this is right. Not to mention New York City. And then Sunday, uh, the system moves on to the north, and we stay dry. Weekend here looks absolutely wonderful. Go to uh, Monday of next week. Hey, look at that uh, 1,032 millibar high to the north. And let's take a look at Tuesday. Oh, boy, here we go. 
We've got a, a deepening trough. Big ridge pumps up over uh, the central and western part of Canada. And down below that, here comes some much, much cooler air. There could be some rain involved with that. And then by the middle of next week, uh, look at this upper level low. Wow, are you kidding me? Uh, that thing uh, is centered near Chattanooga. And uh, down below that, the thickness values are, well, look at that, almost uh, almost uh, 546, 5460 meters there. And, uh, of course, that's mainly because of the cold air aloft. I mean, it's not that cold at the surface, but, again, that could get us down there in the 40s, everybody getting in the 40s. And you'll know it's fall then as a big low uh, deepens off the uh, South Atlantic coast with that. So, again, there's been some pretty good consistency in that, the idea that we might see some uh, maybe the coolest weather so far this season in about a week or so, and we can't wait. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today, and, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.